Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Castitos Navicus. And on my left, Li Chong Wei. Castitos Navicus to serve Lavo Play. Over. One love. Well, despite being 32 years of age, he is still in great shape as Lee John Wei. Look how super agile he was here. Tall love. Supreme accuracy with everything that he touches, seemingly. Yeah, he is uh, so difficult playing against. His defense is incredible, and he's got a quite good attack. Uh, also one of the best in the world, but uh, but especially his court coverage is very, very good. experience told him that that one was definitely going that long didn't even bother to watch it land oh wonderful defense what a turnaround from the Lithuanian national champion in his own country four times is Navikas he's played 17 tournaments since uh, playing here last year, I should say, in this event. Three semi-finals, Iceland International, Polish Open, and Slovenian International as well. Not quite the same level as uh, his Four, opponent. One. Four quarter-finals as well, and uh, seven first-round losses. Yeah, 17 tournaments, that's quite a lot in a year. Um, so uh, he has been traveling a lot. Five, one. And this is what, what happens in a in a Olympic year is that the the players needs the points and and they are traveling around the world to collect them. Oh. Well, Chong Wei was staring Five. at the umpire, almost thinking about the challenge. Yeah, I think also uh, he wants to uh, get used to uh, the drift in there, and uh, and I think he was just wondering how much was Seven that and how over. much can I give it the next Six. time I'll make it clear. Two. Oh, service over. with a powerful smash of his own there really struck that well buckling Lee Chong Wei into error so quick to get behind Seven that one over. and really get his body weight Seven, through the shuttle three. four points adrift then the yellow shirted Lithuanian what to expect does the Navicast because he's played uh, Li Chong Wei before but as prepared as you are it's a really tough ask service over eight four uh, he will up ending uh, or he will up and do doing some mistakes because he, he needs to play 110 percent each rally to win them and oh. uh, and uh, this is why that Nine, you also four. see some mistakes. Body blow there as well when he gets it wrong. Short clear. Lee Chong Wei so quick to close. He's a very sprightly man. Carrying no excess weight at all. Oh, look at that deception. Ten, four. He's got so many ways to pick a lock, the blue-shirted Lee Chong Wei. I don't know what 
what to expect next. Mercenary. 11-4, interval. As he heads towards the interval then, 11-4, seven points clear of the Lithuanian man who is really up against it. Lee Chong Wei, what a cracking start that is. He looks in fine fettle from the off here. Just a few words from his coach. What do you say to a man like Lee Chong Wei? Yeah, I think uh, what they, they're probably expecting him to play uh, quite a few matches on court number one and on TV court. Uh, and I think what they will try to do is uh, find the length and the clears and the lifts and uh, the net game, uh, finding out what tactics to use and uh, trying out different shots and so. So I think uh, he will uh, he will try and uh, and get used to the court uh, during this match. Wonderful defense Service from the Lithuanian there. Just giving Five. as good as he got. 11. He's having trouble Service up there, over. isn't he, towards the back 12. line with that smash? Five. What's that all about? Is it lighting or...? I don't know. Um, we haven't really seen it before, so it's it's difficult to say what, uh, what the problem is. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Lee Chung Wei just keeps on putting a lot of pressure on and uh, it's hard to resist. One thing 14, that really five. sort of leaps out when you watch Lee Chong Wei is just how poised and balanced he is and how he uses the whole of his opponent's court so accurately. Service over. He's got this sort of nonplussed look about him at all times. There's just very little giveaway and opponent likes to take from a little bit of perhaps a sunken body language at the loss of a point but there's none of that from the Malaysian no you won't see that but uh, you do see him get nervous sometimes though and it's uh, he still looks the same 15, but you can uh, you can six. see that he gets a little more careful with his game and uh, and uh, he's not going so much for the winners and so as he usually is It usually takes a final, though, to get him nervous. Yeah, of course, and he found the line with that 16, defense. Six. So super agile, in and out of the corners, in defense. Very tough to get the shuttle past him, or indeed buckle him into error. One thing as well that is sort of you know, slapping me around the face, frankly, is that he is so untroubled by the drift. And of course, he's used to playing here and he's a man of experience. But how do you explain that, Jesper? Well, that is, as, as you said, it's, it's uh, experience and uh, it's skill. You will see some of the best singles players that they don't have the problems that the other ones has. Uh, so it is just a, a matter of, uh, of skill and a matter of uh, routine. Good play from Navikas there. A well-directed smash. Seven, Just trying to generate 17. some momentum. He took a little bit of the pace out of this smash, so it got a little shorter than uh, the other smashes he's made, and, and uh, that worked out well. Service over. 18-7. 
the greatest respect, it sometimes looked like he sort of left his contact lenses back at the hotel or something. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Occasionally, sort of, there's been a few swings and misses, hasn't there, around that high overhead? Yeah, he probably just want to do well, and uh, it's a little tense because he knows that each shot that's going to go come to his side is just so difficult. Uh, so, yeah. Sublime, great silky hand skills around the net from the Malaysian. So Navika has his defense. You can also say that uh, I don't think it's that often that he plays on TV courts and the lighting in there is just stronger. So, uh, and I think Lee Chung Wei is pretty used to it. Great finish. Really Sunny well Sola. struck. Eight. Just saves. Hit it well. Saves one of the game points. Still under immense pressure. Lee Chong Wei with another 12. sort of majestic lethargy about the way that Lee Chong Wei is sort of ambling around the court, almost sauntering, frankly. But he has a, a lot of time and space on the shuttle at the moment, as you would expect against the man ranked 73rd in the world. He's been as high as 38, has Navigas, but this man just in a different stratosphere, frankly. Secures the first game then, 21 points to 9. In emphatic fashion, does Lee Chong Wei. Looking very good from the off. Another menacing couple of overheads. Closes that net down really quickly. Just so super agile all over the court. Look at this. Speed agility. Confirmation of the score then in just 11 minutes. 21 9. Catching a couple of highlights then from the previous game. Won by Lee Chong Wei, as most anticipated around these parts. 21 points to nine. A real uh, emphatic display from the blue shirted, twice silver Olympic medalist. And thrice winner up in this event. Three times the bridesmaid, never the bride. Is this his year? He's getting on in badminton terms, 32 years of age, but still looking very, very sprightly. That was a little audacious. A little over exuberant on that uh, drop. But he's probably, Jesper, just kind of getting his game ready for sterner tests for the weight. I think uh, some of these deceptions and, uh, and shots, he's trying them out uh, and getting used to them, getting a good feel of it. Uh, and yes, he's making some mistakes, but he also knows that he's never going to be in any trouble in this match. For a man who 
who's been recently a daddy with a baby just uh, what, a month or so old, you'd imagine he wouldn't be getting an awful lot of sleep, but he seems really uh, unhindered by that. Seems like he's maybe sleeping in, in another room. Another house. <laughs> Former legend in her own right in this sport. Good lead from Navigas. Lines judge with his arm split, indicating that it was indeed wide. Navigas in the lead for the first time in this match. Chung-Wei made some mistakes on this side. Uh, I think he is a little getting used to uh, the conditions. Uh, and I also think uh, that he maybe turned the speed a little bit down. Not in this rally, though. Yeah, I think the one you're talking about is when he hit the off smash from left to right. And he didn't quite take enough pace off, did he? And the ball, the, the, the shuffle just spilling into the doubles tram. Nicely done from the Lithuanian. Quick to close there and very deceptive on the uh, away backhand smash. Putting himself very, very well out here. reflexes from Lee John Wei. Where did that come from? <laughs> Thought the point was just dead against him every time. Navikas did well there. He was up there. He was trying to kill it, but uh, Lee Chong Wei is just too fast. And there you have it, the cross-court lift from... Uh, from Navikas oh. into the drift, and uh, that is difficult. Six, five. Well, frankly, it's a real treat watching this man play. A real indulgence, and I'm sure the fans, well, we heard the uh, the warm welcome that he got on entering the stadium. Yeah, some of these uh, prelim uh, rounds uh, doesn't really have the tension that's needed to get the crowd going. Uh, so it's mostly when he comes in and walks out that they're, they're cheering for him. from Navikas. Seven, six. Navikas is doing well. He's, uh, he's trying to put some pace into it, getting the attack, trying to uh, to get some kills, and, and uh, until now he's succeeded well. I think one of the big talking points as well is whether um, Lee Chong Wei is slightly undercooked regarding lack of match play, because of course he only uh, resumed play on uh, May the 1st. Well, his, uh, Seven, suspension. All. You kind of felt a little bit of sympathy for him there, don't you? You know, was it uh, anti-inflammatories that he was taking sort of Catitus. during the season that he shouldn't have been? But uh, he's a fair man. But rules are rules. There we are. But I think the you Eight, know the talking point seven. that I'm talking about is 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 he is he tight enough? Has he played enough matches this year? to really go deep in this tournament. Only time will tell, presumably. That's right. Uh, he has been playing a few tournaments uh, and uh, has been doing well in them too, but it hasn't been the high-level tournaments. Seven. And uh, 
I think he's, he's got the match practice, but uh, the question is, does he have the practice to play against the best players in the world? Um, and uh, that will be, well, that remains to be seen at this tournament. Yeah, well said. He won the Canadian Open and the US Open as well, back-to-back -back wins, and the Suderman Cup as well. Just uh, doing very well there. But as you say, it's against the biggest names in the game. Chen Long will have been delighted to see that he was in the other half of the draw to him. The near seeds, though, Mark Zwiebler, should he win? Service over, 11 8 interval. Kadambi, he's another one en route. That would be a quarter final matchup, should they both make it, of course. Long way off, early doors, but just uh, looking ahead. So the interval break then, Li Chongwei, 11-8 to the good, and a game as well under his belt. So uh, all running smoothly as far as he's concerned. The Malaysian machine en route, looking very, very sharp. Yeah, mentioning Mark Trifler, he has probably not been happy about an unseated player, Li Chongwei, being in uh, his draw. Yeah, that's kind of rough justice, isn't it, really? I mean, he had to slot in somewhere, and he's right at the top of the bottom half of the draw. 11, 8. Play. Lee Chung Wei has been uh, leaving a few shots uh, on the back line and uh, he's uh, expecting them to, uh, the, the drift to carry them out, but uh, they really don't, so um, he's still trying to get used to the court. Oh, quick to turn that one around. smash opportunity got around that back and so quickly terrific footwork that's a really good lead from the Lithuanian under a lot of pressure there that was a lung busting rally for both he's marginally the heavier of the two men you can see that in his frame but doing very very well there still another shuffle bites the dust Lee game to the good and two points up here still in a very commanding position but Navikas really giving as good as he gets scrapping his way here it's not that he looks tired in any way. Uh, I think uh, what I know of Navikas, he's, he's a quite uh, professional, or he's very professional badminton player, and, and he is really training hard. Um, of course, the problem for him is that uh, at home he doesn't really get the match practice uh, as probably Lee Chung Wei does. close but he's just spilt line along over the back line 15, 10. it's a shame so Lee Chong Wei then building more momentum but I like this though that he's trying to take some initiative the accuracy of the man phenomenal and as you said so so superior in defense so agile in and out of the corners of the court his end range control is just 
superb. Last few smashes has been very good from him. He, he started off uh, mishitting or misplacing a few of them, but it seems like now he's, uh, he's found out how much uh, power he needs to give them, and, uh, and they're certainly good now. Yeah, he's not short in that department, is he? Mike looks skinny, but he's got a lot of fast twitch fiber in there. Very, very fast. Well, you feel that's a pressure error for Navigas. Scoreboard sort of suffocating him a little now. Pressure really on his shoulders as Lee Chong Wei heads towards you feel the second round ominously good leave survey sova 11 18 Just nodding, knowing that, oh yeah, that's the drift. Shouldn't put it that way. Wonderful telling off smash again from Lee Chong Wei. He takes a kind of high risk option, really, going with the drift. That's a tough one to make, but he does it with impeccable accuracy time and again. Yeah, the last three ones has just been uh, put exactly at the right spot, uh, and I think it's on purpose that he's going this direction every time because he, he want to get used to it and he wants to know how much to give it. Uh, I don't think we've seen one straight smash from that round of hit corner in this set yet. leave as well 20 match point Such 12 amazing court awareness from Lee Chong Wei here he is then with eight match points Oh, it's a wonderful finish. <laughs> really quite cheeky. What a delightful way to put the match to bed. So the three times runner-up in this event, safely through to round two. 21-9, 21-13, with a really cheeky angle drop to secure the win. Now that just shows the talent of this guy. Uh, what a great shot, this last one. Uh, and uh, no doubt at all in this match, he was uh, just cruising through. So the, to the delight of the fans, there he is through in just under half an hour, in 28 minutes it took a loss of only 22 points for Lee Chong Wei. Safely through to round two. Do stay with us. We're going to hand over our commentary mics now to Jill Clark and Steen Pedersen, and they're going to take you through the next mixed doubles. And then after that, Vitingus in action.